uh, say hello to the blog. Say hello to your internet aunties, because clearly. And then tell them bye. I love you guys. Period. Okay. The CK gang, 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 gang. <laughs> hey, babes. Good morning. It is Friday morning. We are on the run. I have a lot of things to do. Okay. Um. I got up, took me a nice little shower, I brought Paxton outside, and now I am headed to a nail appointment. Like, honestly, I did not even have the time to do my hair. I put this wig on, and, you know, we didn't glue it down. We didn't do nothing to it, so I put the hat. The hat is what's keeping it in place, baby. But we're about to head to my nail appointment. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get them really, really short. I don't have to get them short, but I wanna get them really, really short because I'm having my surgery. So I don't want to be bothered with a lot of things. So I feel like a little like short down to here, kind of nails like this short. My nail girl's gonna look at me like I'm losing my mind, but I'm gonna get them short and red and I'm gonna get my toes done as well. So my nail appointment is at tan, it's 916, we gotta go. And then my toes is at, 11 30 something like that but it's right after the other y'all in my house looks like total garbage right now i'm doing laundry in the back i have to come home um i need to go to the gym i went to the gym one time this week and that's not okay because i will not be able to work out for the next six weeks <laughs> so i need to go to the gym today I, I don't know how what time and i have a wig a video to do that's my last wig video that i have to record you know we gotta get to the coin so i'm gonna come home to do that video but it's friday uh, my surgery is it's in five days i can't believe i can't believe like i actually i'm at this moment like i've always wanted to do this so i'm just like still in shock that you know you're actually gonna do it oh my god and guys we're gonna have to do our do a COVID test the pre-op lady she just be on my line she called yesterday she emailed she messaged me this morning kimberly you need to send me your COVID test so we're gonna go to the store to get a COVID test so i can take that and send it over guys so i'm just sitting outside i've been outside for a while i got here like 9 48 um i'm gonna go inside now to get my nails done i'm not gonna bring you guys i'm tired i'm over it i'll probably do a little recording on my phone so y'all can see what my nails look like but i'll just show you when i come back i'm gonna go do my nails i'm hungry i have no coffee in me so i'm just not feeling it we're not feeling it Ooh. like too much or have a lot to deal with they're they're cute i don't know what's going on why i look so ashy anyways um i'm eating in the car as per usual i'm gonna get my pedicure done like my lady that does my pedicure she was running late she had like a client and she's running late so she told me go get food of course i'm gonna do it because i'm hungry so we're eating i gotta stop eating my car bro <laughs> guys i finally got my toes done okay we just got in the car it's 135 it took a while i thought i was gonna be out of here quicker but it's okay i got my toes done i did them in the same red polish my hands are so dry so we're just not gonna but yeah my toes are in the same red polish i'm gonna head to target right now i think there's one close to here i want to get a white um button shirt so we're just gonna do that um i'm really not going into target to do much so i don't know if i'm gonna take y'all with me we are back in the car i didn't take y'all because all we got in target was the button shirt got to buy the covid test it's 2 15 i need to send that covid test before end of day shoot so when i get home well close to home i'm gonna go to walgreens to grab a covid test i forgot i had to do a covid test bruh bruh and i'm literally thinking i'm just heading home to just go record oh my god okay that's cool we stuck at the stoplight anyways thank god so i could like remember what i need to do why is my my windshield this dirty like okay clock in the house like it's three o'clock i feel exhausted y'all and i have to go record like i feel super exhausted i need to take this hat off oh my god how am i gonna record with this line but i my wig as i said is not on my head it really was not on um so we're just gonna act like we don't see that for right now, but I'm gonna go do my COVID test. I got one at I got one at Publix, so I'm gonna do this right now. I got this at Target, guys. I just wanted the gold clip 
and the brown one. I didn't want the, I don't know if this is red or is this coral, but it came together and this was like, it was $10. I only needed these, but I got these because my clip that I have is broken. Um, and then I got the white shirt, but I don't know why it looks so like not white to me, but I'm going to wash it. I have to finish the laundry. I have to clean. I have to fold a lot of laundry that's on the sofa right now. I have to do a lot of things and I feel like I'm just not ready and I'm getting like tired. Like I feel super like exhausted. I don't know. I did not expect to be outside all day today. And then my package from Pretty Little Things came, but right now that's for later. This is not important right now. Um, take the COVID test. guys i'm done my nose my nose is burning so bad that covid test maybe i pushed the thing too far but my nose is hurting but it is negative though because who was who had covid like where we were going to get covid from um so yeah what you want for christmas you ah! <laughs> oh my god what you said? You said you were. What you said? Something I forgot. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember this moment forever. You said something. You're like. Um, I don't want nothing else for Christmas, other than my, to see my mom. <laughs> take away everything. Take away the presents. I just want to see my mom. Don't let me cry. I can't. I can't do. It. You're gonna let me cry, please. Oh my goodness. Uh, love you. I love you too. Ah. <laughs> I'm just trying to see. I just finished my makeup so I can finish doing this hair video. But this whole time while I was doing my makeup, I'm talking to my son. This is what I have to deal with. He's playing. Don't be like, don't be acting like he was kissing me. He's playing his game and <laughs> you just be playing your game. <laughs> but anyways, I love you. I'm going to go finish my video. I love you more. <laughs> you so uh, say hello to the vlog. Say hello to your incident aunties because clearly. And then tell them bye. I love you guys. Period. Hello. Oh, yeah. CK gang 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 gang. Hello <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, I'm, yeah. Right. I'm gonna go finish the wig video. I think the makeup turned out pretty nice. Um yeah. Anyways. Love your wig. You said you love my wig? I'm so scream. Okay, cool deal. I'm gonna go <laughs> finish the video. <laughs> Alright. Talk to you later. Okay, mommy, love you. Mm. <laughs> this is a pullover scenic type of action Y'all, and my son, isn't he the cutest? Like, my son is just so amazing. He was too cute. Like, when I went to get my camera, guys, he was just, like, talking about what he wanted for Christmas. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, hold on, hold on, because I have to record this, because this is the sweetest thing. I love my son so much. Like, I love him so, 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 so much. I have such an amazing son. I could not have asked God for a better child. Like, I don't even deserve him. Like, he's so amazing. Anyways, let me get this stuff out of the refrigerator to cook. Um, I need to deal with this counter, but we'll do that later. I have my beef right here. And guys, I have some chicken that I do need to season up. You know what? We're not going to watch no Netflix. I got work to do. So I'm going to put this beef on and then get the veggies and everything prepped. So, you know, we can like smoothly transition. And then I have some chicken that I bought that I need to like cut them up, season them, put them in separate packets. And I also have some pork chops as well. That I need to season and put it in like Ziploc baggies and store it in the freezer. So we have those for whenever I come back and you know, if I need to cook something, I don't have to be like, like hassling myself too much because all I have to do is defrost the, um, the, What's that? The, the, the meat or the chicken and then just cook it. So it'll be easier. So that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I'm going to cut like, 
I don't know how long those will last. I was thinking like cut some onions, cut some veggies and put them in Ziploc bags and put them in the fridge. Maybe I should freeze them because then I could just thaw them out and use them. Even though I, I don't like thaw, um, freezing vegetables because when you like thaw them out, it's like has a little watery taste. It doesn't give the best taste. So I don't know. Anyways, let me stop yapping. But if you follow me, I will talk you to death. Like I just be talking. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Um, let me get the pan for the beef. even matter what pan I use because it's gonna go in the, the I'm gonna use this hey babes it's Saturday um, I'm going to surf Saturdays I have my surf shirt on I'm about to leave right now I have my jacket on don't mind this awkwardness I was outside it's chilly so I have this little jacket on because it's gonna get hot soon and we're gonna be outside walking in the sun anyway so it's gonna get um warm pretty soon it's like 8 48 right now i have to leave i've been up since like seven the time that we're supposed to get there is 9 15 9 15 and then we huddle at like 9 45 and then we start walking at 10 and then we literally just walk like downtown um and give out food, toiletries, pray, talk with, you know, talk with the people that are there, like the homeless community. And I really love like going to serve. It always humbles me. Like it literally always humbles me. It makes me so grateful because only, only by grace. Like I could be right there where those people are. So I'm extremely grateful. I'm just glad that I'm able to be the hands and feet that's what my church always says, be the hands and feet of Jesus, like actively trying to assist. So it's always like a good experience. And sometimes you meet like a lot of these people and they have such mind blowing stories. And it's just good to talk to them like they get to feel seen. Sometimes they just want to like talk. They don't even want the stuff that we're handing out. And I just like that I'm able to participate in that. Um, I need to leave. I'm very greasy, by the way, because, well, not really greasy. I did my skincare, but I have a lot of sunscreen on because we're going to be outside. Anyways, I'm going to leave before I'm late. I'm going to get a bottle of water. Why am I breathing so hard? three minutes out we're gonna get there at 9 27 i had to go back upstairs to pee oh my goodness uh we're at a stoplight but yeah uh and let's go hey guys it's later on it's like 12 32 right now i'm tired mouth is dry everything i just stopped and picked up some food from kava i haven't been to kava in a long time because clearly we moved from downtown so i grabbed a quick little bowl and i'm gonna have this right now because i feel so hungry and i have no energy and then i'm gonna run inside to um target to see if i can get like some pajamas they have like christmas pajamas in there they have like a sale going on but to be honest almost all the christmas pajamas are like already sold out in a lot of stores but i was just gonna see since i'm in the area then i'm gonna go home because i'm tired and i feel like i need to just go home i want to go to the gym today i want to edit a vlog i have a vlog for you guys oh my god so i really wanted to edit that as well so i could post tomorrow i'm trying to do better like with my posting so let me just eat this food like really quickly and guys the girl that was serving my food she has such a just like a stank attitude like she had somewhere to be she's like oh what, what do you want like it was just so weird people be really weird and i'm just like you know what god just like make her day better because clearly something is up with her because i don't know you from a can of paint that's what i say yeah i don't know her from anywhere so i'm just like you know what maybe she's having a rough time maybe she doesn't even want to be at her job so you know what whatever i'm not gonna take it personal anyways i'm gonna eat my little food i didn't even put any sauces or nothing and that's it pretty much and then we're gonna go in target so i can go home i feel like i need to take a little nap too i'm tired babes i just got out of target um i feel so nauseous like i feel sick and i don't know why i don't know if it was that food that i had but i'm gonna go home and just like rest a little bit but i did get christmas pajamas i'm gonna show it to you um yeah i got some christmas pajamas they had a 40 percent off sale so 
even better and the funny thing is i was gonna buy the pajamas a few days ago but they didn't have the size that i wanted so i'm kind of glad that they didn't have the size because i saved like 20 something dollars so that's cool i got pajamas for my son and i got myself something i was gonna get pax in some pajamas but I don't know. I might have to get him one. I don't. I don't know. I should have gotten Paxton's um his own pajamas. I always get him pajamas, guys. I feel so nauseous. Okay, Lord, just be with me and let me get home. I don't know. I feel like this. I feel sick. I was fine, and I feel so sick. Right Starting now. routine. I still feel sick, but anyways, I just tried on my Christmas pajamas and I like them. This is a small. Could have gotten an extra small, possibly for less fabric, but you know what? It's comfy, looks nice. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if it's the stripes, but that thing is stinging. Anyways, um, <laughs> this is the top. I got it in a medium because I know that smalls tend to not fit well on my shoulder. So this is a medium. Maybe I could have gotten a large too. So it's a little bit more oversized. I realize like it's kind of cropped. The female version is kind of cropped. So I'm wondering if I should return it and get the men's version, but then it wouldn't be as cute. This is the, what is this? This the medium. I got one for my son. But his, it came in a set. Oh my God. It came in a set with a top and a bottom. So yeah. But then I got him the same little sweater. But what I realized is that with the men's and the kids, look, it's a full sweater. It's not cropped. Look at it. Like it actually comes down longer and I like the length. So maybe i should change mine to a men's small so then it would not be cropped because it's cropped but it's cropped and weird not like hey guys i just woke up from a nap let me tell you how i was tired and then i was mad at the same time so i just went to sleep pretty little thing so like let's sit down right here real quick and let me let me talk because i decided to open the bag just to see the stuff right i didn't show no nobody nothing like i didn't come back on here so well, my face is so red i was yo i was just tired and i was annoyed i was sleeping on my face jesus but a pretty little thing what is going on bro i don't know what happened with the quality of their items but over the years, it has broken down so much. Like the quality went from like a A to a Z. Like I'm not even being exaggerative. If you like check my closet right now, I have so many items that are from Pretty Little Thing, but not the most recent manufacturers that they're using Pretty Little Thing from like the OG days. Like their items were, <coughs> excuse me, their items were from England. Cause that's what i thought it was a british brand um the pieces would come they'd be super thick and i was just blown away i'm like oh my god this is so fine i ordered this romper this romper was 50 dollars 50 dollars <coughs> hold on but they had like a coupon so i used the coupon on the picture it looked like it was like a nice thick quality romper you it's a it's a strainer and then they have me rethinking my life because i am a true six right us six this six when i put it on i can't even wear this outside like i wouldn't even go to sleep in this when i put it on my cheeks were like coming out and i'm like why is this so small and then funny part about it this is the top when i saw it i'm like why does it look like this on the picture that i ordered the girl that had it on there's two buttons that go right here. So this is not even the same romper. I feel like they have pictures of stuff that they're making and then they have like different, like whoever is manufacturing their clothes, they just make like close items to the picture because this does not look like the picture. The romper, do you see how that fits? Can y'all see it? Nothing like, when I tell you when I pulled this part up, there was nothing to really hold. It's like a piece of cloth. Do you see how, look at her back. It's two buttons. I did not receive this item and my, hers fit like normal romper. Mine was like a booty shorts and I'm like, where's the rest of the material? Like y'all are lying. Like this is not what I got. Guys, this dress is like maybe three years old, but I wore it for a photo shoot. I remember quality. It is heavy and not because it has sequins on there. Look at the tag. 
Do you see the difference in the tag? Look at the thickness. This is how the tags used to be. This really big tag. This was when I feel like it was coming from England, okay? Then you get a little extra tag quality. Like, what is this rubbish? Like, these pants, baby. They said they're oversized. It's like when, you remember how people used to buy that Wish thing? Like, what they, what they thought they were buying and then the Wish version of it came? That's what I feel like I'm getting. And I'm so mad because this brand used to give us such amazing quality i'm like at this point i need to go and try and figure out the sheen you know clothing thing because at least i know what sheen i'm paying sheen prices for you know it's not the best quality but don't don't do that this is the pants i'm gonna show you the picture of what it was supposed to look like right it's supposed to be a loose flowy beach pants or whatever baby when i put it on it's a tights like it's tight and it's an oversized pant, so I bought it in my regular size. But it's still, even if it wasn't like oversized, it's still not supposed to fit the way how it fits. When I tell you it is so tight, it's crazy. And then the top, the top made me so mad. The top made me so mad, because girl, where's the rest of my fabric? This is the top, right? This is the top. On the picture, the girl, she has way more fabric in hers. It's just so flim I, I i don't know i can't get over how flimsy it is my this is the real one and then i got the wish version because what is this i don't know what i got i'm so happy um i didn't do like oh watch me try it on like by the time i i started doing like i have more stuff over there by the time i did the returns almost the entire order is going back and i'm so annoyed because what did i rush ship to get this thing for i'm annoyed i'm about to take paxton outside I'm about to pack that bag up because when am I going to go take that back? Because for one, you got to take it to the post. The post isn't open today. The post is open on Monday. I have to go print it. Um, Monday is time to go. I don't got time to go to a post office. And then after I come back, I don't know. I don't know how or when, you know, I'll be like up and down doing a whole bunch, a lot of stuff. So I did start the return. I don't know how long you have to complete it before they like take all your money. So I have to figure that Wait, out. Wait, let me turn this light off because it's lit. Okay, so hey babes, good. Y'all are shaking. Hey babes, good morning. It is Sunday. Okay, I don't know what that was, but it's Sunday. Um, we're getting surgery on Wednesday. What? Anyways, I am up. I was up early. Well, not really early, like my regular time early, but because the time change, I was up extra early, like kind of earlier, whatever. I got up at five and I'm like, why am I not tired? And I'm like, okay, the phone says five. So I went back to sleep a little bit. Then it's at like six something. I'm like, the, the lighting is shifting and I know when the sun is going to come up. I'm like, this is weird. Like, it doesn't look like it's six o'clock. So when I checked my phone, it showed the daylight saving thing. So anyways, we were up at six something like fully. I got up, took my sheets off. They're washing, leaving my bed in the back to air out for right now. So I can like have fresh sheets because we are leaving tomorrow to go to, um, hold on. Okay. Anyways, we're leaving tomorrow to go down that side. So I just wanted to do everything today um i'm gonna watch church later on i'm not gonna go in person today i have a few things that i need to get done that's why i wanted to make sure i went out to serve yesterday i made sure of that um guys i finally left my house um i'm headed to the car wash because there's so much like there's bird poop on my what is that on my windshield and this morning i came out there were like more marks on there so i'm definitely going to wash my car first guys do you see my zit because i don't think y'all are seeing it i squeezed it and i look crazy and every time I go through the car wash, my car starts making mad noise because it thinks I'm hitting something. I wanted to go through the car wash twice, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. There's so many people out here and I got stuff to do. So I hope all the bird poop that's on the front and on the windows come off because maybe it doesn't even look like it's coming off. Oh my God. I don't want to have to come back through this car wash.
Guys, so we're going through the car wash again because it didn't come off and I have the unlimited thing so I'm not going away with the bird poop still on the car. Guys, so I just got Paxson's food and I bought him <laughs> A ball he likes squishy balls like this and he had one like this but I don't know where it is so I got him like two I don't know and guys why am I in pet smart feeling sad I've been like super emotional <sighs> this weekend like everything is making me like want to cry I don't know what's going on but I was in pet smart picking up his food and I'm like sad like oh my god I'm going to like not have Paxson with me for like a whole week almost and it's weird i don't know like he be getting on top of my nerves and everything but you know it's always me and paxton so i was in there picking up his stuff and i'm like oh i should get him a ball and i went and i got him the ball and i'm just like feeling emotional what is wrong with me Guys, I'm standing, not standing. Guys, I'm outside Sephora, right? I've been here since like 11, um, like 40. They open at 12. Baby, it's like 12 o'clock and the door still isn't open. There's so many people waiting. Like so many people waiting. Did they open the door? That's crazy. Okay, they're open. Okay. Let me go get my face cream and I'll be back. Guys, we are back from Sephora. Um, yeah. Um, you know what? Just don't say anything. We're just gonna go home because I was not, I had like four items or three that I really needed to get and we ended up getting other things, but you know what, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna go home now, it's 12.32. Well, not home, we're gonna, well, we're heading to the direction of the house and then um, I'm gonna go to the supermarket and then we're actually going home. Yeah, I gotta get inside the house. I just booked my train for tomorrow. Uh, Usually the tickets I think are $79. It was actually like 99 because I guess it's so sudden. They do have like a premium thing on the Brent line for $180 some dollars. I'm not paying that because I'm literally going to just do business, my surgery. And if I don't have to spend that much and it's okay because the premium gives you like more space, um, free snacks, free drinks. We'll bring our own snacks at this point. I definitely though um, will do the premium maybe when I go for my follow-up but if I don't have to spend that money right now I'm not let's head to the supermarket and then I need to go home there's so many things in the car bro oh and I met one of my I don't know if she follows me on Instagram TikTok or YouTube but she was so amazing her name was Brittany Brittany I think that's what her name tag said she was so amazing so so amazing hopefully she's watching this hey girl it's so nice when I like meet you guys like it's crazy and then i'm i'm just always like oh my god wow like if you see me out it's always cool to say hi like i will say hi i will talk to you okay yeah anyways let's head out this is paxton's food got the bigger bag which i won't be able to lift soon so i'm gonna sort paxton's food out i gotta sort out what he's taking with him i gotta pack his stuff like what he's taking to my friend's house um okay so i was telling y'all i got a whole packet of washcloths in walmart because you know you're gonna need these and i feel like it's more sanitary and just like better than like a sponge especially with you know what's going on so i got these so you know we can use them and if anything just toss them out i don't know um i did get pineapple juice am i really far guys because i feel like i'm so far 
Let me see. Okay, this is a little bit better. Whatever. Um, I did get some pineapple juice, as I told you guys. I do have the big box of pineapple juice from Trader Joe's. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I bought everything except I wanted to buy Arnica tablets. You know, like, they have Arnica cream for bruising and swelling and stuff. But Arnica tablets are good, like, to take for, like, bruising because I don't know if I'll be bruised or what I look like. I don't know. So I wanted to get some Arnica tablets, but I still have time to get those. So we have the pineapple juice. Um, I got some more Celsius. I'm just going to put this in the refrigerator. I got the stool softener, as I told you guys, because you, most videos I watch, people say they're constipated just in case. I don't want to get caught like, oh, I really need to go to the bathroom and I can't. Um, we got the things to clean the floors because I'm gonna Swiffer. And I also got a new mop thing because I just want to make sure everywhere is clean. But that'll be later. That's like one of the last things I'll do before bed tonight. I did get this little travel kit from Walmart. I don't know, I needed something to put my face wash, like squeeze some of my face wash in there. Um, and I don't even know what else, but I mean, it was not expensive. I don't like the color, but I mean, who cares? So we got that at Walmart. You can put my face wash and I guess, Maybe body wash in it, conditioner, and like little things. I'm not gonna wash my hair, but yeah. I have the food for Paxson, which I showed you guys. He already has like some. I have some lined up over there to take the princess tomorrow, but I needed to just get like some more. Um, oh, and the ball that I got, Paxson. Hey, Paxson. I got you something. Let me see. Y'all can't see him, but he's sitting down so nicely. Go get it. <laughs> At least it doesn't squeak, because I hate when the toys squeak. Um, what else? Turkey bacon, which I'm gonna freeze. And I did get a whole bottle of Tylenol Extra Strength. The funny thing is, I have like the knockoff version, like the Walgreens version. And I'm like, maybe I need to get the, um, the Tylenol one, even though they both are 500 milligrams each or whatever. But I just wanted to be sure, because if I don't have to take the Narcos, I'm just, Going to take my Tylenol extra strength. So this is going in my bag for sure. Have the insure just to top up what's in the refrigerator already because I don't know how my appetite will be. Um, and I did get some sparkling water. I don't know why I got this. I got the I I've had the lemon flavor of this before, but this one has pineapple. It says it has like a little bit of like real pineapple squeezed into it. I don't know. So I figured I'll get it. <laughs> Um, Walmart has some little things. This is like a pack of flushable wipes, so I'm gonna bring it with me. I don't know why I even got this little packet because I have the Cottonelle wipes like in the box, so I'm gonna bring that as well. And I just picked up a little hand cream. <sighs> Let me put these things away and I'm gonna show you what I got from Sephora. That's the only thing that's exciting. So I'm going to show you guys that. And I want to go to the gym and come back. And then I'll pick this up in terms of packing, folding all those laundry, switching the bed sheets, and stuff like that. I think, um, yeah, I'm good on beverages. I have my almond milk to make my protein shakes that we're going to blend. Well, after I'm feeling better, clearly. I have pineapple juice. I have pineapple juice here i have coconut water and i have waters and coconut water is in the side of the refrigerator i'm just trying to prepare as best as i possibly can and I, I don't know but yeah i'm gonna finish like packing away these stuff and get changed for the gym because it's like 1 30 right now i think we can get a workout in and then i'm gonna come home to get my whole life like we're really doing this boo boo like Oh my goodness. Ooh. <sighs> Let me go where the light is. Hey babes, it's clearly like later on. Right now it's like 5.45. Well, in fact, it's 6.45, but it's 5.45 because the time change. I did the stove. I cleaned the stove. I cleaned the refrigerator. I cleaned the cupboards. What's this? The cabinets, whatever. I did all that. Um, I'm doing like something in the washer. It's literally just like some, like a sweatpants I'm washing in the washer. To add to my stuff, I packed Paxson's food. Um, 
the only thing I need to remember is after I feed him in the morning is to take his bowls, wash them out, dry them, and put them in the bag. And also, I have to put his crate in the car. I'm wondering if I should put his crate in the car from like tonight because he doesn't need it. He's going to sleep in my room. So maybe after I'm finished with everything, I might go take the crate down and put it in my car just so I don't have to do that in the morning. Um, I started packing my stuff. I will show you guys what I'm doing, but I kind of started just doing a little bit of everything. I want to go do like fold the laundry right now. <sighs> Let me see. I'm in my in my son's room. So this is kind of what I have going on. <laughs> I'm using this like travel thing that I these pouches that I got from TJ Maxx. Got this suitcase from TJ Maxx too. I'm thinking I possibly could have did a carry on. Well, I don't know, but it is what it is. I'm gonna use that, like, is that a small suitcase? I don't know, I'm gonna use that. I'm taking those wipes with me. These are some more pouches that I might put stuff in. The light in here is so, like, not bright. Wow. Um, I'm taking this bag, like, from the bag to, to use. So I'll put it in my suitcase. I got my Tylenol. I have more wipes because I don't think you're able to shower for, like, a maybe, like, two days or so. So I have my wipes because we're gonna be dry bathing um i brought pads and some tampons just in case because i don't know what's going on with my cycle i don't know if i'm gonna have my period and i don't want to not be prepared so i brought some and then i picked out like three little fragrances to bring my ebony woods julia has a gun and this is the tom ford lost cherry dupe i just brought little things because i'm not gonna be heavily fragranced um because the day for surgery, you can't wear perfume. I think afterwards too, maybe for like a day. So those are just there to use like the day before, I think. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything. I have my Habit Cleanse, which you used to shower the day before and the morning off. I don't know what I'm putting in these yet. I think I need to put some of my face wash in one of these. I don't know if I'm bringing the whole thing. These are my sweatpants. Like I have a gray sweatpants with a matching hoodie. This is just a random blue sweatpants. I have a white button shirt, the jeans button shirt, because you can only wear like button shirts because you won't be able to put anything over your head. I have a pair of jeans, which I don't know if I'll be able to put on because I hear that it's hard to put your clothes on. So it's easier for loose clothes. And then this is a hoodie. I need to go get the sweatpants I'm putting here. And then I'm washing the other sweatpants and hoodie right now, which I'll add to this. And then this is my robe, pajama pants, a tank top. I don't know. This is probably like the night before surgery because I will not be able to wear that again. This is a sleep dress because these are easier and I'll mostly keep the sleep dress on or the robe. I don't want to bring a lot of clothes because I'm going for surgery. I'm not going to do anything else. Um, I have these little pockets to pack everything else. This is just like roughly what I think. I probably have to bring, oh, deodorant. I have to go get my toiletries and my skin gear packed up. I'm just showing y'all what I did so far. And then I'm just gonna wear this tomorrow since I'll be traveling. So this is like a leisure set and I'll wear my sneakers. I think that's why I had these socks right here. Nice and chill. I need to remember to pack my, my camera. Well, I'm gonna take this clearly, but I need to remember to pack my memory card, the memory card reader, my hard drive, like a few things that if I leave them, I would not be doing any kind of work. So there's that. I wanted to start editing my weekly vlog, which I wanted to post today, like from yesterday, but that didn't work out for me. Um, that vlog is gonna come, so they will get that vlog before. Well, you will get that vlog before you get this one. <sighs> Lord, but the vlog, the content is there. I just need to edit, and that has a sponsorship too, so I need to get it done. I just have a lot going on, y'all. And then I still need to tidy the bathrooms. I was doing here in this bathroom, so I gotta, yeah, I gotta clean that up, wipe the sink down, just like wipe the toilet down a little bit. The tub is clean because no one goes to this bathroom, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm charging my vacuum because I'm about to use that. Um, yeah oh wait i need to turn the lights off hold on i have just like a lot of little little things that are adding up to big things i didn't do my hair yet <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair i'm just gonna try and pick like a wig that's not hard because i won't be able to be combing my hair or doing anything crazy my camera is about to die oh my god okay and then i gotta get this load of laundry um 
fold it. It's not even focusing. I got to fold, not this load. This is like three to four loads. I got to fold them. And then I got to make the bed. It's just like a lot of little things. I got to pack my makeup up. Just like a lot of little things. And I'm not, I said I was going to carry makeup, but I might just carry like a light foundation. I don't even know if I'm going to do makeup. Why am I even taking makeup? Guys, it's a little later. I keep sneezing. Oh my God. I was just dusting my nightstands and I'm sneezing like crazy, but it's like 722 right now. Um, I'm packing just like some makeup stuff. Just picking out what I'm taking with me. Honestly, guys, I don't want to take a lot of stuff. So... I am taking foundation, concealer, a little contour shade, my setting powder, I think bronzer. This is like a bronzer blush duo. Um, taking some blush, my mascara, of course, a lip liner. We're not taking this. That's really dirty. I'm not going to wash that right now. Taking my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And that's pretty much it. Wait. And I'm taking like my brow pencil. Um, and I'm taking these like two glosses from sephora and that's pretty much it I already picked the br those are not coming okay i already picked the brushes out that i'm gonna take and i put them in the sephora travel case i should have just put only the sephora brush set in this because i can literally do a whole face but yeah um and then those brushes don't fit so they're gonna go in here anyways <laughs> i changed the bed sheets i took my decorative pillows off i put those in the closet i took the extra blanket off because i'm not going to be able to be lifting like heavy stuff so i'm making sure everything is good um cleaned those tables off i'm gonna vacuum and i'm gonna do my bathroom next and then guys i bought this pillow from walmart it's a back pillow because i will have to be um seated up most of the time or like on my back, like I can't sleep regular anymore. So I thought this would help me. Um, tomorrow before I leave, I'm gonna put it in the bed. So once I get home, I don't have to deal with that. And I'll probably leave out like uh, pajamas or something. So when I come home, I just get to change my clothes and then just go on my bed. That's what we're trying to do. Anyways, I don't really know why I'm taking makeup to be honest. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup tomorrow. I still didn't do my hair. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I don't know what I'm going to do. I didn't wash the wig that I had on. I have to see if I find something else because it's getting late. I'm getting tired. I have to finish packing and yeah, I got to drop packs and off like early. I'm going to probably leave my house maybe like 9.15. So I have to wake up way before that and get ready. I don't know. But I'm going to pack these things up and see what else I need to pack. Hey guys, it's way later. The cubes, I need to cut that thing off the suitcase. But the cubes fit pretty well. One fit in here. The second one in here. Um, my sandals. My underwear and stuff. I'm bringing my hat in my little bag because, you know, I might not even be looking right i might have my hat on just in case i'm not doing my hair um yeah i'm thinking of taking this makeup stuff out this looks like a lot i feel like i could have packed less <sighs> um but i'm pretty much done i just have to put my skin gear stuff and my deodorant and stuff i am gonna have a little struggle trying to close this but i'll figure out how best i can do it i'm gonna see i might put some stuff in my handbag <laughs> I'm gonna see and I'm gonna bring my um what's that bag called oh my god I can't remember I'm so tired guys forgive me but yeah I just like tidied this bathroom I was just in here my phone's right there I said this bathroom it smells pretty good cleaned the toilet and that's good to go I still didn't mop the house I think I'm gonna do it in the morning when I wake up um I did Swiffer like maybe like two days ago, but I know I'm gonna not maybe hard mop, but like Swiffer. I'm using this pouch to put all my like my my valuables. So this is my purse and my stuff, my camera stuff. I'm gonna put my chargers in there, my cameras and stuff. And oh, my tell far. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I'm gonna bring my computer, my laptop. I mean, so I have my Beats headset there. I'm gonna take it with me. I have my sunglasses some sanitizer, um, some candy, <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and I think I have some lip glosses and stuff in here, but I'm going to pack these things in the morning, that's why I left them right here. I don't think I'll have time to print the labels for the pretty little thing thing, so I'm just praying that 
when I come back, I could possibly like give the bag to Noel and ask him to do it for me. So that's gonna be like next week. Hopefully I have enough days since starting the return to still bring him back. This is Paxson's bag. I have his food with his scoop. Um, I have treats, um, wipes for him, his ball, poopy bags. I have food, like there's food in it. Um, look at him, he's in his crate. Um, and then I'll just take like his teddy bear and maybe like his giraffe he likes that a lot and i'm gonna bring the crate as is in my car because i don't remember how to like close it down and i i don't know if i'm gonna try to figure it out but if nothing i can just put it in the back of the car i think it can go and i'll put that in the car in the morning grab his bag um yeah and i did leave his food over there on the counter so I won't have to be stepping high up to get anything. I hope everything is just like where I can reach them. Cause baby, we can't reach up high. And guys, it's the fact that I want to bring my protein and my creatine, but there is no space. I wish I had packed a bigger suitcase. So I want to bring some protein, some creatine and my shaker bottle. There is no space in the bag. So I'm wondering if I could put this in my handbag. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. I don't know, I'm gonna put my rest of my stuff in there. I wish this was a bigger bag. And then I'm gonna see if the creatine and the protein can fit, because honest to God, I'm about to put it in there because I don't want to leave it. Oh, yeah? Okay. Oh my God. I went to Sephora to get moisturizer. Um. So for my moisturizer, I've been I've been using this Sunday Riley Afterglow thing. So it's CEO Afterglow Brightening Vitamin C Gel Cream, and I love it. The one that I have right now is almost at the pan, like it's hitting pan. So I'm like, yeah, we're gonna re up, and I definitely like it better than the Ole Henriksen one because I had both of them trying to see, and I love this one. My skin loves it. This is what it this is what it looks like. And then what I love, look at the inside. It comes with a little scooper thing that you can use to get it out. So I'm just going to bring the remainder. Oh, my God. I'm just going to bring the remainder of the one that I have with me to Miami. And then we can use this one when I come back. Guys, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I look a mess. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, and then while I was there... I decided to try her um, her CEO brightening serum as well because right now the serum that I'm using is the Ole Henriksen one and I'm like why not try this too and I honestly don't know how much this is I I got my receipt by email I think I didn't I didn't even receive a receipt I have to check um, but it's so pretty. So we're going to try these, but I'm not going to try using this and switching anything out until I come back. I'll just use the Ole Henriksen one. I topped up on my sunscreen. This bag is pissing me off. Okay, I topped up on my sunscreen. It is the Shiseido sunscreen. It's really good. Like, honestly, I love it. It's It's been the best sunscreen I ever used so amazing it gives your skin a nice glow it feels so supple and just good after i do my whole skincare and i put this on i feel amazing and it makes you sweat like beautiful like when you go to the gym like it's just nice it's beautiful i love it it's worth the money at first i'm like why am i buying a sunscreen for this price but honestly i don't regret buying it it's 50 dollars, but like i feel like it's worth it and it lasts it lasts a while and i already have one so i'll take that one with me when I'm going and guys I wanted to try the butter drop and they had um the holiday one and when I put it on in the store I could see the shimmer like it gives you a nice little shimmer on your skin so I got it and then I asked the lady if the original butter drop if you can like buy it and drop it in this container because the regular butter drop the original one has a refill and I got the refill. So the refill is supposed to, you take it out, 
drop it in the container. So what the lady at Sephora did, she went and looked at it and she's like, oh yeah, it lifts up so I can refill it with the regular one. Hopefully it works because in the store it looked like it could work. You know, because I'm like, I want to try this one for the shimmer, but also I want to use this one as well. So that's what I did. I don't know. I thought that was smart. <laughs> Instead of buying one of this and another jar of this with the whole jar and then buying the, the refill. So I thought that was a smart buy. And then guys, oh my God, they had um, this holiday gift set, which I got. Sometime last year, I got Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume, super dose. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. This is the wrong one. Oh, my freaking Jesus. Sorry. I have to take this back. I just realized what it said. Juliet Has a Gun, not a perfume. It's supposed to say super dose. That's the one that I like. <sighs> so I want to take it back. I'm not, I don't think I want to cut it then. I think I just want to return it. Oh my God. Cause that's how the other one looks. And then you see the super dose written in red. I didn't realize it just dawned on me that this is not the right one. But then what I liked is that for a hundred and ten dollars, you even got like another sample, like the lust for sun, you get the travel size. I'm so mad. That is crazy. I'm wondering if it smells different than the not a perfume super dose. The super dose one clearly is stronger. Guys, I'm my brain, I'm too tired and I feel too slow to deal with this right now, so we're not. And then I got a sample of the Lady Gaga foundation. You know what I'm talking about. The I just call it Lady Gaga cuz that's that's who made it. Um I got a sample because I wanted to see if this is my color. I can't. Guys, I'm tired and I'm I think I'm I'm losing it. Um I'm going to take a shower. I cleaned this bathroom by the way. Uh I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to have some water or maybe some coconut water so I can feel more hydrated and then I'm going to go to bed because I have to wake up pretty early. I need to be up Maybe about like seven because I have to do my hair. I did not figure out which wig I'm going to wear or what I'm going to do. So I have to figure that out. Let me see. Let me bring you guys closer because I feel like this looks ugly. But whatever. Um, so I have to figure what wig I'm going to wear. And I have my hat, you know, like, because once it starts coming off, we're just going to put a hat over it. Yeah, the only major places I have to go once I get to Miami is to my doctor my pre-op to my doctor for one day post-op and then I'm gonna come home on the Saturday that's the only like really public place where it really matters oh, I'm so exhausted and then I went to the gym too I'm very tired so where's my I don't even know where my phone is but I'm gonna take me a quick shower. I showered earlier. I'm gonna take a quick shower. I'm not even gonna be in that bathroom long. I feel so exhausted. And have some water. I think I need coconut water. Then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm still so pissed off. Why I thought I scored? Because I've been wanting to get the Juliet Has a Gun Not a Perfume Super Dose in the full size for a while. And I saw this. I'm like, oh my god, $110. And then I got the discount, so it should be less. I need to find my receipt. I have to go check my email. Maybe I'll just keep it. It is what it is. Uh, ugh. I, I don't know. There's that. I think I'm going to end this vlog right here. Y'all saw all the stuff is packed. We're good to go. I have a lot to do, so I'm going to put my camera to charge. Um... Yeah, I have to drop Paxson off. I have to come back and park my car. I have to get an Uber. I did not have Uber on my phone, so I downloaded the app today. I'm wondering if I should request a ride from now. So when I actually need to go, there's actually an Uber available. Oh my god. Okay, guys. It's okay. Tomorrow while I'm driving to Delray, I can probably nap a little bit. 
on the train. But keep on watching, guys. This is a lot of content coming up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I talked a lot. It was a lot going on. I didn't get to take you guys into the places as much because I was trying to get prepared. So hopefully you still enjoy it and you're gonna, you know, be watching these vlogs back to back because we have several vlogs coming up. Catch you guys in my next one. I love you guys so much.